Yep, back again. So I'm standing in front of Bert, got the hood open, and I'm going to go around and see what kind of damage was done on our tour. Um, Bert went 2,400 miles, something like that, 20, just over 2,400 miles, and had a couple issues with it. First was after Cedar Point, the driver's, or excuse me, the passenger side exhaust hanger in the way back, the weld broke. So that was a quick go to the parts store, get a universal clamp, clamp I guess, and fix it. Um, they had to do some adjusting, but as you can see, there it is. And of course the hole that's blown blown into it. Uh, second thing I had wasn't until the last day of power tour, which was heading back from Champaign, Illinois, the driver's side did the same thing. So it probably happened along the way. I just finally noticed it then. So as you can see, I threw another one of those on there. So my awesome welds didn't hold. Um, and the third thing that happened was coming back last day on the way back to Michigan, uh, cruising through, it was east of Chicago, um, traffic merged, basically came to a stop and got hard on the brakes on Burt and he didn't like it too much. So ended up popping a brake line. Uh, pedal kind of went to the floor, almost rear-ended someone, which luckily I didn't, but um, Yeah, it turned out there was a uh, union that came off of the frame rail and did a little thing where it must have broken before Well, one of those little bends that just popped off rusted and just sprayed everywhere So I didn't have rear brakes had fronts, but I didn't have rears. so Quick repair uh, went to Hobo Freight because I forgot my flaring kit and I just flared in a new union set um, which was leaking but it was enough to get me home so um some point here in the next few days i'm gonna get that taken care of uh other than that it was hot very very silly hot um ended up just unplugging the blower because it was constantly running thought about pinching off one of the heater core lines but i didn't um just unplugged it probably day two or so and it cooled it down significantly we had cooling towels so let's pull the oil out and see where it's at on the dipstick um, I don't know if you can see that it's well it's over the full mark but it seemed to be about every I'm trying to get back in the hill there every uh, I don't know Five, six hundred miles it use about a quarter quart of oil which isn't bad um, I only snug down the valve covers once I did fix that leak that was underneath in the uh, adapter for the oil filter and then I could see right down here on the inner fender well it looks like it's shooting out so I'm guessing oil is probably coming out of the dipstick tube when it was at higher speed and just kind of spatter in there which it's all right um the other spot i can see the or the timing cover looks like it's got older oil on it. it's nothing big but i got down here at this breather it would seem to be breathing out and kind of shooting out a whole bunch of uh a whole bunch of oil um you can see the cable and whatnot's all covered and the spark plugs covered so that's probably another spot where i was losing it um, all in all, not too bad for as old as it is, kind of thrashing it together in 2,400 miles. So I'm going to pull this plug out and I will show you what I got going on. Well, sorry for pulling in the garage. Your neighbors are getting ready to cut the grass, so it's going to be loud. So I pulled the number two out, which number two, if you remember, was the one that had the intake push rod was missing um 
little carboned up. Where you can see that. Get on the camera there. A little carbon fouled. Got a little bit of oil on it. Maybe Bert's using a little bit of oil. Um, it's not brown like I like it, but it's not terrible. I've seen a lot worse, especially this one. It tells me it's firing, which is good. So I think for right now, I'm going to put it back in. Probably tune on the carb a little bit, lean it up just a hair, but... I kind of already knew that going into this, and they were probably already going to be like this, so to be expected. So I'll probably just clean this one up, throw it back in for right now, and then uh, well, I'll go pull out another one. I'll go pull out number one. Okay. Can't ever win, especially with my neighbors lately. Figures I come in here and they stop, whatever. Uh, so that's number one. Same kind of story. Carbon followed up. Carbs running rich. Um, probably could have done a little bit better on fuel mileage had I adjusted it, but overall wasn't bad. I got about 10, 7, 10, 9. Um, I was expecting 10, so I don't know. I just ran a couple cans of barium and threw it a couple five or six times and you know it was well worth it so that's number one so i'm gonna throw this guy back in call her good for right now and i got another set of plugs on the shelf i'll eventually throw in just not right now and i will be back so i got that put back in uh another thing i noticed here is on the back side of fan there is a little ring i don't know what it does but it's a little ring came loose snap ring for something i don't know seems to be off guess i'm gonna have to figure that out probably do electrical fan just because i can other than that tires held up great um brakes is passenger or driver side front squealing like a mofo when I come to a stop so it was just frustrating I uh, went through a couple big rainstorms had some leaks it wasn't too bad of course I don't have all the seals put into it and you know the typical rust that's going to be kind of problematic and let water in especially around the back looks like I blew out another hole right here so Eventually, I'll be fixing on all that stuff, but for right now, I'm just, I'm glad Bert made it. Official, because I got the sticker. Norwalk, Dayton, Indianapolis, Madison, Champaign, 2021. Got the long haul plaque. Got a bunch of cool stickers. Yeah, got the front license plate. Um, it's kind of the interior mess that we had going on here. I haven't cleaned it up much yet, but seats, very comfortable, did very well. I'm going to have to fix this, which I already planned on it because I like that when I got it. And yeah, I still got to clean it out, but all in all, for a 48 year old vehicle, going through some nasty Talking heat, hot, it was like... 95 90 heat index of upper 90s to over 100 each day sun just cooking down and Bert just went through it like a champ I was cruising at 75 miles an hour and 454 was screaming so all in all that was good met a lot of fun people there so I'll go around and see what else I can find on this and I'll bring you back on you so let me get you in here on the brake line situation. I just kind of went through and snugged them up. But right there you can see I put a long piece in because I didn't know how big the brake was going to be. But it actually had a little like loop 
and then over to here and then the whole line was just kind of junk so I just put that piece in kind of did some half bends and um, I had to go through and just reflare up that side because the flaring kit I bought was not the greatest and then flared that side again and tighten it up eventually I'm gonna replace this whole line because over there I think you can see it right here I've already spliced in for the back brake lines and that goes to the T back there and yada 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 I think you can see it right somewhere right there I don't know one of those lines there it is so yeah this is gonna be a um, probably just replace the whole rear brake lines I don't know the drums are fine they do well so <clears throat> I'm gonna call those good but just when I get to it do the whole brake lines go from there I can still see transmissions actually not too covered with oil which is pretty fantastic I do have a small leak coming from the inspection cover and a little drip on the bottom of the oil filter all in all though I'll take it could be multiple couple little things like I mentioned with valve covers not being tight rear main seal I know I know that's the rear main seal leaking out of the inspection cover but it's good enough for right now but uh, starter did start going to shit on me so second to last stop actually no on the way to the last stop I stopped at AutoZone and picked up a starter so I got a starter for it this one's kind of going bad likes to click and a couple times to start and one time actually you get to get out of there and tap it with the hammers so it's going out so that is my Bert update for Power Tour. I'm going to try to put in some pictures from when it was there. Made the full just over 2,400 mile trip. Um, she did well. I mean, like I said, there's just a few little issues. Can't really complain. Oh, I did get the tires balanced too while I was down there because they were a little, little off, but yeah. I mean, I'll take it.
cool people and can't wait to do it again next year i'm already planning i don't know if it's going to be purple car i don't know if it's going to be angus i don't know if it's going to be i don't know just some random project pulled out of the weeds or bird again who knows we'll see but had fun great pleasure meeting everyone and Appreciate everyone for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. See ya.